All right, welcome back everybody. Uh, today we're kind of doing a uh, part two of the automatic transmission fluid change on this, on the uh, Optima Hybrid. Um, as you saw before on my previous video, I showed you how to do that and everything. Um, but I kind of had a, an epiphany a little bit because um, I changed the transmission fluid on my mom's uh, Kia Soul with a two liter in it that has an automatic and the transmission is very similar. Uh, so I figured I would try the same type of way that I did it on her car. Uh, her car I had to take the intake off just like this, uh, but I knew that the intake on this car went to the back of the motor. Uh, so I thought I would try it this way. Um, but I took the snorkel off, and right where I'm shining the flashlight, straight down there, is the uh, overflow and that you use with the... Uh, 3 8 or I'm going to be using the quarter inch uh, with the 3 8 adapter that you use with that um, the little plastic thing uh, so that's the overflow so what I decided to do is I'll just fill the transmission up through that way rather than that little bolt in the back um, and obviously it's an overflow so any ex ex extra excess will come right out um, so uh, I got the snorkel off I got the splash shields off already uh, so let's get underneath the car and we'll crack it loose. Alright, as you can see we're underneath the car now. Uh, we got our 24 millimeter drain bolt right here. Uh, I know the fluid's going to be a little warm because we just got home from doing some errands. And then again we have the overflow. Um, so I'm going to use my little tube and everything that I have. And I should be able to snake it down from up there and stick it straight in here. So let's... Uh, get this uh, start draining so we can add the new three and a half quarts. Um, so this will be the second time. There's about 4,000 miles on uh, since the last time I changed the fluid. So this should be pretty good. Uh, it should be um, pretty red. Um, the transmission holds like, I want to say it's like seven quarts total. If you remember last time on the first video, we changed three and a half. Um, so this will be the other three and a half. And then it should be diluted enough to where the transmission fluid is completely fresh. The car's got about 34,000 miles on it, um, but I just want to stay ahead of the game with uh, maintenance. So let's get this underway. All right, we can see we're back on top of the car now, or I should say in the engine bay. <clears throat> you can see I got the funnel. You can see you're kind of where I was talking. Um, so that's about where I'm going to put the funnel. It uh, works best for my situation, no kinks or anything. So let's uh, get underneath the car, and I'll show you how I got it underneath. Here we are now underneath. As you can see, it's still got a little bit of drizzle coming. Uh, and then if we look underneath here, here's the tube coming from up there, from the funnel. And it just kind of makes a nice curve straight into the overflow. Um, that hole is kind of tight, um, so it is good that I, I did cut that slit still from the first time when I did the transmission fluid. Um, so, but it does fit snugly in there. Um, one thing you'll need to be mindful is there is a kind of like a O-ring gasket. This is a little dirty, but uh, I'll clean it up before I stick it back on there. Uh, it's just getting dirt from the pan right here. But uh, be mindful that this is the gasket that seals this little plastic plug. Um, that's the only thing that stops fluid from coming out pretty much. So I'm going to clean both of those up prior to me uh, putting them back in. Uh, so just be mindful. I would take that out just so you don't uh, take the rubber gasket out just so you don't ruin it or anything like that or lose it or get stuck on your uh, little fill tube here. So uh, training is dripping now. So uh, let's start the uh, fill process. All right, we're back onto the car again. I uh, pulled the funnel out. I am getting ready to, I am, well, I'm actually cleaning the uh, O-ring before I put it back in. And uh, since uh, three and a half comes out, that's what I put back in. And uh, I'm fairly confident in that. When you pull the plug out, you want a little bit to come out uh, pretty decently. Um, so I'm gonna check that here momentarily. Uh, but it's the same as before uh, with the splash shield right here and then the snorkel up top. Um, I just want to show you a little bit of a part two kind of on how uh, you don't even have to take the intake off on the uh, Optima Hybrid to get to the uh, uh, to do the transmission fluid. So this should speed it up a little bit better. 
a little bit quicker rather than having to mess with all those uh, 10 millimeter fasteners on the intake and pulling that all off and then doing with that small hole. Um, this filled up, I by the time I got this, the next court open, uh, the first court the first court was already done. So it's a lot quicker this way. So I uh, just thought I'd share that out with kind of like a mini part two for the automatic transmission fluid change. So I just did my second three and a half quarts. So should be 100% uh, ready to go. Fresh fluid in this. All right. Uh, come back and enjoy the other videos. Check out my other videos. Check out part one if you haven't seen that yet. Uh, questions, comments, uh, send me messages. Uh, what you'd like to see as far as maintenance is concerned on these vehicles. Uh, either my coupe, uh, Forte coupe, or the Optima Hybrid. Thank you, and uh, enjoy the rest of my videos. Come back soon.